This is what I wear over the course of the week. So this look is Barbie core done my way. I am going to be one of the Barbies in the Barbie movie. Usually I shy away from things that are, you know, super pink, too prissy, too feminine, too girly. I definitely love like a high femme moment, but I think I've managed to mash up a couple different aesthetics to make this Barbie vibe my own. I've combined these, you know, beautifully tailored white Kate shorts and the sculptural Kate belt, Giuseppe Zanotti black thigh-high boots. This is um, a Colina Strada t-shirt. And this is just like a frame button-up, easy peasy. Red Ferragamo bag by Maximilian Davis. You know, this is my Barbie. She's chill. She's fashion. Please come to the movies. It's gonna be really fun. I will be turning looks. And not a lot of them are pink but some of them are. So I would call this look dressing up for dinner with bestie because your besties deserve your best. This is Dries Van Naughten coat, shorts, paillette, crop top, clutch, Givenchy shark lock boots. I love oversized tailoring with a little belly action hanging out inside. Hyper texture with the paillette. Wearing crop tops and exposing abdomen like this, kind of a new development in my life. I've never been confident enough thinking that I needed to have that like perfect cut torso in order to do it. You look fab. If it's what you wanna wear, put it on. Body positivity 101, but you know, when you actually live it, it's quite liberating. I accept myself unconditionally, and therefore you. So I call this look Summer Nights. More specifically, Summer Nights on Fire Island. It's kind of like, you know, if Princess Diana were running one of her iconic workout errand looks and just kind of forgot pants. Anna Cruz Kane, who co-starred in Barbie with me, she gave everybody one of these hats by Social Goods. And it's 1973, which is um, actually the year that Roe v. Wade passed, which as you know, or don't know, has been overturned in the United States, which assures all women access to abortion. $5 from the sale of each one of these hats goes toward the National Institute for Reproductive Health Care, which is helping make those services available to all women. And we love that. And it looks good with my Columbia sweatshirt. My mom got this for me when I got into school. Perfect Miriam Nasirzada beach bag. I wear these R13 white sneakers every day. Bye. my red carpet look. It's, you know, not a gown. It's not old Hollywood glamour. It's severe, but it's to the body, leaving everything to the imagination. You can just pop a little satin clutch in your hand and call anything a red carpet look. It's the truth. This is custom Gucci from the Alessandro days. It's got my name in it, which is really cute. Quick little satin Stuart Weitzman pump. Pay attention to the hemline. Cause a hemline that's neither here nor there, it's a boner killer. If it's like up here, like it's weird. It's like whatever that conservative person said about porn. It's like, I don't know how to define it, but you know it when you see it. Hemline. This Ludovic de Sansernan look encapsulates quiet with playful. Ludovic in kind of his signature celebratory flashy kind of queer way, has branded it with his initials in sparkles. I feel cool in this. I feel hot in it. And I'm late for a red carpet. I... So this look, I kind of think of as the new New York cocktail. You think of cocktail attire and you think of 
fizzy little dresses and high heels. It's super sculptural with the ruching seams. You can pull them up and kind of turn this look into a different shape every time. I'm down to wear something totally sheer because I feel comfortable being vulnerable among my friends. Which was made by my friends Mike Eckhouse and Zoe Lada of Eckhouse Lada. They're family to me. I used to intern for them when I was a little fashion baby. I used to do casting for them actually until they wondered if maybe I wanted to step on the runway and then I walked a runway and then all of a sudden I was a model and the rest is history as they say. Shout out to the Leffler Randall boots and then just like a chill Isabel Marant bag, Sophie Buhai earrings. So this is my dance all night look. And not just all night, maybe into the following afternoon as well. Gray sling dress is just sexy and slinky, breathable. My biggest kind of clubbing extravagance would probably be these Peter Doe thigh high boots. I feel like the piece de resistance to my dance all night look are these shades. They are the shades that you wear when you're getting laser treatments on your teeth. I get my teeth whitened, I admit it. If you're dancing for hours and hours and hours on end, you don't wanna have that handbag like draped over your shoulder the whole time messing up your moves. It's all about a fanny pack, but a fanny pack doesn't have to be nerdy. This is Raph Simmons for East Pack. I swear by this thing, I just tie it around my hips as tight as I can. So this look is something I would probably call chaotic errands. This is kind of a quintessential vibe that I'm always returning to. Sort of vaguely 20th century New York, vintage, punkish, colorful, irreverent, um, silly. Wearing an absurd Miss Piggy, Pigtoria's Secret ripped up t-shirt that you thrifted, a Vaquera duct tape style bandeau, which looks like actual duct tape. Let's get into the necklaces because there's a lot going on around my neck right now. Chanel Fine Jewelry that was gifted to me when I went to the Haute Couture show in Paris many, many years ago. I was super grateful to have been welcomed by Carl and to have met him. I wear it proudly with another designer tribute, my Vivian Westwood penis whistle, just in case something happens. These are Andy Wolf for Petr Petrov. This is a Gucci bag by Alessandro Michele. Moving on down, we've got these jeans by Luar Raul Lopez. I love things, obviously, that are a mix of casual and chaotic, and that's really encapsulated in this jean. These are being held up by this, I'm assuming, vintage belt. We've tucked the jeans into Proenza Schooler snakeskin effect boots. All right, Vogue, that's it. That's what I wear in a week. What a week it was. I'm exhausted, but invigorated, and I feel so good. Put some clothes on, just put it on. I'll be watching.